Hello and welcome to the Bahamas. I wanted to make a video for you guys, so this is a little different than what I usually do, but I still wanted to be able to make a video. And I love that everybody walking around is waving. So um, today I want to talk to you guys about something that is is the only thing that matters and that is awareness and there's a lot of talk in videos and teachings about my awareness of being is God however I want to my intention here is to simplify the difference between awareness thoughts feelings and circumstances um, so many times people come to me and they say I'm so confused about what what you're what this means and so my intention in this video is to simplify the teachings like I always do with everyday talk <laughs> and being goofy about it because it's supposed to be fun not serious so stick with me you're really gonna like this video and it's like I said is what matters most it's the only thing that matters actually it's it's above all all laws all techniques all things when you get this it feels very easy welcome my name is Rose welcome to the Rosie life where we help you free your mind and follow your heart so you live a life that you love if you're interested in working one-on-one -on -one with me you guys know what to do also my six-month platinum program opens up July 15th if you're interested you can go to rosylife.com information is down below and uh, so we still have spots for you and you I can I'm excited to see who signs up this round. Last six months was incredible. And uh, I still hear from those clients and they'll always, they'll always be a part of my life because we spend so much time together and I'll always get updates from them telling me how amazing they're doing. So if you're interested in that, all right. So, and like I've said in many other videos, you want to hit the notification and subscribe button so that if when I make announcements about what I'm going to be doing in July, you are one of the first people to hear about it and you want to be one of the first people to hear about it. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about awareness. My awareness of being is God. You've heard that, right? And so many people say, oh, well, they don't know the difference between their awareness, their thoughts, their feelings, and the circumstances. So the easiest way that I want to describe this is you've heard you are not your thoughts, you are not your feelings, and you are not circumstances, the conditions, the things that are happening in front of you, the things that you're experiencing with the five senses. If you can see something, if you can hear something, if you can touch something, if you can smell something, taste something, those are the senses. If you are experiencing those with the five senses, those are circumstances. The thoughts and your feelings are also circumstances because those are happening, okay? So anything that is happening or that you thought has happened or you think will happen do you see that's all in the same category as thought and or feelings now when you you might have heard this term before when someone is speaking and anytime you are speaking or anytime you're thinking there's a space between the words there's a pause. There's a little space between one word to the next word. That little space is you, is awareness. So right now you can ask yourself, what am I aware of thinking? Or I'm aware that Rose is speaking. There's an awareness there. That awareness is who you really are. That is awareness. You can be aware of your thoughts. You can be aware of physical sensations. You can be aware of what the five senses are experiencing. That is you. You are awareness. Whatever, whatever it is that awareness is looking at or hearing or feeling, you are that. You are the awareness behind the thoughts. So it's like it's also the observer effect, right? Who's observing? 
who's listening to me think these thoughts? And many people think, oh, I'm thinking something, and they think that's who they are. Or I'm feeling something, and they're thinking that's who I am. No, you are the awareness or the observer of the thinking, the awareness of those thoughts. So it's something is always being aware of what's happening. Something is always being aware of what you're feeling. And that is you. That's your higher you. Or like Bashar says, a higher mind. It, it doesn't matter what you call it. You don't have to get caught up in subconscious and conscious and impressing the mind and all of those things. This awareness trumps everything. It is why even Neville Goddard wrote a book called The Power of Awareness. And that's a really great book that you don't have to read if you just simply understand uh, the, the words in this video. That you are awareness. Something is always aware of your own thoughts. You, in another word, you can use to describe it as observe. You're observing what you're thinking. And many, if like, if you're looking out at the water, let's say, you're observing the water. But what is observing the water? Wh what is observing the water? Who is observing the water? Do you see? Who is observing the water? That's what you want to ask yourself. It's, you're like, I am. That's right. I am. It's not, it's not someone else observing. It's not someone else being aware. It is you are observing the water. So that is awareness. And if you were to, if you were to describe awareness, and I did this in a video like last year, I, I ask these questions. If you were to describe your awareness, how would you describe? And in that video, I said, as God, because awareness is God. And in that video, I said, describe, if God had a personality, how would you describe that awareness? How would you describe it? You would describe it as whatever, right? It's most of the time people say it's peace what's observing the thoughts, what's observing the feelings, it's peace. It's, it's calm. It's quiet. It's undisturbed. It's silent. And if you really observe it, you notice it, it's, not, it's, not, it's not mad or happy. It just is. It's like a constant is, and it, to me, it kind of reminds me of the ocean, that it's just calm, and it's just there. The ocean doesn't judge who's swimming in it, or what you're putting in it, a boat, a jet ski, or if it's just a body swimming. The ocean is still the ocean, unbothered by what you put in it, or on it, or how you use it. It just remains, and that's you. You are the awareness, and you can like it to the ocean. It's the same thing. It's unbothered. It just is. So anything that you put on it, like your thoughts, your feelings, your sensations, it's okay. But that's not who you are. So anytime you have any thoughts or any feelings, or you're experiencing anything, that's not who you are. You are the awareness behind it. So when you make an assumption or a declaration about anything that you want, that is awareness. Awareness is now aware of that declaration. Awareness is aware of your assumption. Awareness is aware of your imaginal scene that you're having. Awareness is aware of that now. And the power of your awareness is how everything is manifested. That is how everything comes about. You are declaring something and are aware of that declaration. Do you see? So it's happening together. So many people think that they're afraid of their thoughts, right? They're afraid of the thoughts like, 
fears or doubts or whatever, you know, lack, all those things, you're like, well, I can be aware of those. It's like, yes, you can. But notice, remember, the awareness isn't judging those thoughts. That's you. So you can be aware of any thought you want. You can be aware of negative thought, positive thoughts, all thoughts. But your judgment or your reaction to those thoughts is all that matters. You just can look at them and let them be. Let them be a boat on the ocean, a swimmer, a jet ski. You don't have to react and say, why are you here? Just let it be there. You don't have to believe that it's true. When you're making an assumption, that's your choice. You want that to be true. That's what you want. You're asking yourself, what do I want? That's, what I, that's who I am. So that's what you're doing. You're choosing and you're assuming and now you're aware of those choices. All the other stuff, you're not choosing that. You can be aware of it, but you're not judging it. I know it's a little noisy in the background, but hey, I just wanted to get you guys a video in. It was either I do this now or, <laughs> or I'm like, I don't. So I thought I'm going to do it anyway. So that is what my intention is for you guys, is that your awareness is understood clearly that that is who you are. That is who you want to identify as, is awareness. Not the thoughts, not the feelings. Awareness. All right, my loves. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and liking the videos. And thank you guys for your love and support because you're all so freaking amazing. I love you guys, and I'll see you real soon. Okay, bye.